Hi everybody, this is Bear here. Where does he spring today? We are finally going back to the Edison. This place has been overdue for redo since way before uh, Mass Live started. We, it's, we did not have a good time last time we were here. No, we, we did, did not. not. But, but we, we did have good drinks. We did have good drinks. We've heard a lot of things from a lot of different friends even before all this started about it being time to go back. So we are yes. going to give this place a second chance. Don't ruin it. Either way, you've had your warning. If you're hungry, it's too late. You'll find more of these videos on our channel and we're gonna go tell you some food. Be sure to jump and jive. You heard the girl. by the ocean with like mm, breeze in your face type fresh four and a half out of five claws I could absolutely murder this I'll probably regret it later oh bear got this like blueberry something old-fashioned which the waiter recommended and you know bear and his old-fashioned all he had to say was old fashioned and bear was sold. The cool thing about this is that like with the way the ice cube is in here, it's actually separating the alcohol. So you see like this circular space in between the alcohol or the drink and the glass. It's kind of cool. Oh, that's very good. It's got like a, it almost tastes like cinnamon taste to it. It's a very, like usually old fashions are a little harsh on the bourbon. That's kind of why I, I, I'm not a huge fan because it just like stays in your throat. But this is a lot more refreshing, a lot more crisp. I could probably order that and drink it very slowly, but I would drink it. You know, that's what's old fashions. I love the textured glass. The orange peel in there, the cube. It smells wonderful, you can smell the bitters in it. Wow. It's gotta be the, one of the most drinkable old fashions I've had on Disney property in a very long time. This could be like my Edison version of smoked turkey. Five out of five points. last time that we had guacamole here. I might squeeze this lime later. I might not. Oh, thank you. I really like it. I'm surprised at how much I like it. Because, you know, it's the Edison. Who thinks about coming here for guac? 
But yeah, this is probably one of the better guacamoles I've had in a minute. I mean, you know, it's no San Angel Inn. It's got like huge pieces of avocado, but it's still good. Well, this is a massive tray of tortilla chips and guacamole. This is definitely meant for two. See, where I'm at with it, Edison, and mind you, they still have a lot to prove to me, is that I feel like the menu is ridiculously limited for what you're getting. Like, it's, just looking at the menu so far, everything is really high priced, but it's basically burgers, chicken tenders, and like, dips. All right. Maybe the flavors will change my mind, but even before I take a bite, I'm already feeling not the value towards a meal. Huh. I give it to them. The walk is fresh. I can use a little bit more smashing, and I expect a place with a name like the Edison for the guac to have a little bit of a kick, which just does not have at all. Two and a half out of five plus. If nothing else, at least their presentation is on point. When they say bacon clothesline, they legitimately mean bacon clothesline. Clothes pins and all, thyme with the dipping sauce, and then house-made pickles. I'm not even sure you eat this. Well, it definitely passes the fry test, not that it needed to. Let's try this as a... Uh, some of our favorite YouTubers would say Solo Dola. I would say it's a fine example of what we call the meat candy. I give it three out of five claws. It's interesting, but very rich. The sauce adds a little bit of citrus to it. They kind of like help with that like savory meat, jerky, and maple taste. Mounts out really well. That three and a half out of five pounds of sauce is definitely an improvement. Huge. It tastes exactly the same to me. The first one was definitely the maple. This one is more of a a fruity taste. This one, two and a half out of five claws. Definitely like the first one better. Even though the second one does have a little bit of a kick with the sauce, it doesn't go as well. Still, two and a half out of five claws. That's for this third one. It seems to have a lot more pepper on it. A lot more candy. It's almost like a sweet jerky without the jerky. Three out of five plus. Very sticky, very messy. I wish it came with like a moist towelette. Two and a half out of five plus. That's this last one. I'm assuming it's like the black pepper one. If they're indeed different flavors. Put the sauce first. This one having more peppercorns definitely changes up the flavor. It goes well with the uh, sauce and then like the fat, savory of the bacon. Three out of five plus. As for the saladilla. Mm. Definitely my favorite. Three and a half out of five plus. This is a good interesting app to share with friends, but it's a bit weird and messy to eat. Overall, the whole thing, three and a half out of five plus, at least for the idea. People will have to forgive me. I slept on these pickles 
and I was trying the appetizer. It is the perfect balance of sweet and spicy in a pickle that I've ever had in my life. Like almost life changing pickle flavor. It's like instantly sweet and then a slow burn across the tongue. Probably like a 4 out of 10 on the heat scale, but so balanced. 5 out of 5 claws. I would eat a whole jar of these pickles. This, um, it looks very interesting with the crispy onions, I, I think. It almost looks like it's an extension of the Beyond patty, but it's not. It's hard to decide which side to bite from, though. Okay, so, it's dry. It's not as dry as the last one, probably because of the bun being different. The crisp onions actually help with it a ton. If I add a little bit of these sauces, this burger is going to be top shelf. Now what I come here for a Beyond Burger, I think if you're in a Beyond mood, you should go to Deluxe for a burger. But this isn't a horrible option. I'd probably put it in like number three or five for Disney Springs Beyond Burgers. And then we have frites. Beautiful frites. Crispy, delicious frites. Yeah, not bad at the frites. Decent little chip there. Nice crisp. Skin on. Not mad at that either. This is Beyond Burger. It's like I've said before. I appreciate the fact that plant-based burgers are becoming so mainstream. I do appreciate that they're trying something different. Crispy onions is a nice touch. The lettuce, tomato, pickle. Does look a little bit like a trying to do like a smash burger style with like some of that last time we came here, but uh, like I said, I'm giving another go. Don't let me down. That's me. Crispy onions don't do a whole lot for me. I'm really just really another Beyond Patty in between buns with plus some tomato. I just wish that like somebody with a bit braver, especially with Beyond, because it needs that extra flavoring and sauces to sort of compete with how naturally good the Impossible Burger is. I don't think this is really any better than what we had last time. I wouldn't come here to just get this. I'm horribly impressed. Two out of five. So, decided to go burger for burger today. So I got the actual Edison, their uh, namesake burger. Medium rare, as all burgers should be. Also good with the presentation. Huge pickle spear on top. Little tomato, bacon. Looks to be some Swiss cheese. Looks like a uh, prime rib mixed patty. Whew, it is definitely a thick cut. I don't know if I'm gonna eat all this. Sort of undress it here. Get all up in its guts. It's a nice little cross section. Looks a bit messy. It's very saucy. The bun's already starting to fall apart. The bacon is about equal thickness to what the appetizer was. And it's cooked the way it should be. Let's see if the flavor holds up. So people are like, well, you know what? 
Ja. The patty itself is a nice blend. I think it's a hair too much sauce. It just makes everything soggy. To the point where I can't really taste the lettuce and the tomato is basically mush in it. Well, but it's an okay burger. I don't know that I'd come here just for that. But I mean, if you're looking for a meal, an atmosphere, I guess it works. Average to me, two and a half out of five bucks. Added mustard and catsup to this burger. Adding condiments improves this burger one thousand percent. You really don't realize how much of a difference it makes until you do it. I think you should try it. I know you don't like ketchup on your stuff, but I think you should try it. I think you should give it another chance and reevaluate your rating. Mustard and ketchup, huh? I mean, it helps. I'm not gonna say it fixes it. Two and a half out of five plus. Still? Still. Hey, it's a half a point improvement. It's lucky you got that. I mean, they had a Mai Tai in the menu. You think I wasn't gonna get a Mai Tai when I saw the menu? Who do you think I am? I tried my first Mai Tai on this channel. Legit tastes like candy. Like, oh. Some sort of lemon lime hard candy. So much yes for that. Very sweet, very perfect for dessert. I'm gonna save this until after I'm done with my food. Princess Lee's tall glasses tonight. Who's getting more drunk? How can I make? Hard no. One and a half out of five boss. It's like melted Skittles. No sir. Melted lemon Skittles. Hello everybody. So we just finished up at the Edison. That was some intense cold, you guys. Our camera is cold. I'm cold. Everything's cold. It actually feels better being outside than it does sitting inside where we were directly under the AC and my fries got cold immediately. I'm taking my stuff home so that I can not only season it, but I can actually have it warm because it was cold within two minutes of being under that AC. Yeah, forgive the fog in the lens. It was, it was cold. really cold there. As far as the food at Edison, it continues for me to be sort of subpar. It's meh. For what you're paying, and these were both $25 burgers, the value for it isn't me. I love the Edison, the theming. The drinks are amazing. I'll happily come here and pay the overpriced drinking prices, but the food to me overpriced. is bottom barrel. And just not, if you were to line up everything this place offers, the food is at the absolute bottom. Agreed. The atmosphere is good, the performers are good. I'm glad it's sort of persisted in our current environment, but this food is still, I mean, I probably could have got something better at uh, Paradisia. Ew, that's a horrible thing to say. Say what I said. I wanna know what you guys say in the comments. Hit the notification bell if you wanna see other videos like this. And? We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Share subscribe. You heard the girl.